Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone keyboard is just not working out. Now there's a couple of different ways why this could happen, but one of the most common ways this actually ends up happening is if you actually go ahead and have a software update that actually interfered with the specific keyboard. So what this looks like is essentially you updated your iPhone and your keyboard's just not working anymore. You know, maybe you won't be able to type in specific keys, maybe the space bar's not working, whatever the case is. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and essentially just restart your phone. This sounds like a really basic thing to do, but you will not believe how often something as simple as this will actually end up being the you know fix in and of itself. So what you wanna do is hold down the side button or the volume up button and the power button at the same time. If you have a Face ID iPhone, turn to unlock your device and then see if your iPhone is fully you know working again. This is the pretty much starting point. If you end up rebooting your phone and you see that it's still not working, well, what I would recommend doing is opening up your keyboard. So go into a notes tab, open up your keyboard. And what you wanna do is you want to hold down the little emoji icon. As you can see, I have an emoji. Sometimes it's a globe, so it changes. You wanna hold down on the specific option and you'll see that you have a couple of different things. You have a keyboard settings, English, emoji, and then these things down here. Well, what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and click on a different keyboard. So in this case, we'll click on the emoji keyboard and all we want to do is make sure that we're able to use the emoji. So you want to start typing in emojis. If you're seeing that the emojis are working, but nothing else is working, well, this may mean that that keyboard has an issue and you may want to temporarily switch to a different keyboard, which I'll get into in a second. But if that still doesn't work, or maybe you, the emojis don't work either, what I would recommend doing is holding down here. You want to click on keyboard settings. You'll come into this little panel and you'll see this little option that says keyboards. So what you want to do is you want to go and click on it. And you want to see that your keyboard is, you know, the specific keyboard that you have, English, US, whatever it was. You want to click on it. And all you want to do is verify that you're able to see your specific keyboard up there. As long as you're able to see it, then you know that keyboard is downloaded. And if it's still not working as of this point, even, you know, within all these other settings and you're checking them and nothing's working. Well, what I would recommend doing is temporarily switching to a different keyboard. Now, on top of this, before you even go there, I would recommend saying that your touch screen isn't actually the problem. Because if your touch screen is not working then you already know the keyboard's not going to work either. So what I would recommend doing is flipping your phone over maybe in a different direction, just like so, and you want to see if you're able to start using the keyboard this way too. Sometimes there can be issues where the touch screen is the problem, so it doesn't matter which keyboard you use, you know, it's still gonna end up you know, having issues. So if you notice that you know half the keyboard is working, but the lower half of the keyboard still isn't working, then you already know that the touch screen is probably the issue here, so you're gonna to have to get the screen replaced. But if the keyboard's still not working here, what I would recommend doing, is hopping out of here, you wanna go into your app store and you want to download a third party keyboard. So in this case, we'll just download Gboard. So you can go and type in Gboard, I kind of misspelled it. You want to go ahead and download a third party keyboard and essentially just switch over to this keyboard. Now it's not going to be a guarantee that it'll work, but it is a step in the right direction and this actually may end up fixing the issue. So you wanna go ahead, use this different keyboard. So you wanna open it, just do whatever they tell you to do. It doesn't matter. So just allow the Gboard keyboard or whatever. And now you wanna go back into your settings like here you want to hold down over here and you want to switch to a different keyboard again. So switch to Gboard and you want to see if this keyboard works. If this keyboard works, then you already know that that specific Apple keyboard has a problem. So you want to switch over to this one temporarily and then switch over to that one when it's working again. But if this keyboard doesn't work either, then I would recommend contacting Apple and letting them know that none of your keyboards are working and seeing what they would advise you to help with. So that's essentially how you do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so me so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my other channels more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then